all know how cute, small, and adorable kittens are, but we believe we have found the smallest cat in the world. Cats are cute creatures and very mysterious in some ways. They can be loving, but they're also incredibly independent. In today's video, we'll go over some of the most unique cat breeds on the planet. Ready to join the finest squad? Then make sure to subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss any of our interesting videos ever again. That being said, let's begin! The World's Smallest Cat The world's smallest cat is more than adorable. It's known as the Prionalurus rubigenosis, or Rusty Spotted Cat for short. This cat is so small that it can actually fit into the palm of your hands when they're full-grown adults as they never grow to be very big. Also, they only weigh anywhere from 2 to 3.5 pounds. However, this small size doesn't come with survival adaption abilities because they have very unique senses of smell and agility. They're very athletic and their eyes are far superior to humans, with their eyes being six times more powerful than those of humans. These cats are very adventurous, but they're very cautious as well because out in the wild they're a meal to everything. So they know more than most animals out in the wild that they have to be extra careful when they're out and about and this is why they have such heightened senses. All it takes is one wrong mistake or one loud noise to alert other predators in the area of its presence. It has unique stripes on its fur and it can jump incredibly high for its size, which it has to in case it ever needs to make a quick getaway. Devon Rex this new breed of cats wasn't very popular or even discovered until the 1960s. This breed of cat was really popular around England during this time because it had a very unique look, but not everyone took a shine to the unique look of this cat. Some people thought it was a rather ugly cat and that it looked kind of like an alien. Some people also referred to the Devon Rex as a pixie cat. Also, the behavior of this cat is rather strange, and some cat owners report that it doesn't even act like most other breeds of cat. Some owners report that the Devon Rex acts like more of a dog than a cat and is far more dependent on human touch and comfort than other breeds of cat. We all know that cats like to be independent and some breeds don't prefer to be touched at all, but the Devon Rex is definitely someone you can cuddle up next to if you're looking for a family-friendly feline that likes to have constant attention and affection. Just don't let it go without affection for too long because the meow of this cat isn't particularly enjoyable to listen to. Egyptian Cats They're more commonly known as the Abyssinian Cats, and they're one of the most popular breeds for rich people. Why rich people, you ask? Well, because these cats are one of the most expensive cats to own. They're known as Egyptian Cats, and they're one of the smartest breeds in the world. They're extremely independent, and they're incredibly intelligent. Their overall appearance can be described as having a long torso with very slender legs. Their fur coats are very short, and they're very close to their bodies, so you really shouldn't have to worry about shedding that much. They're definitely not lap cats if that's the type of cat you're looking for, and if you're worried about a cat not being family friendly, then don't worry, because these cats mix well with families and children. They also do okay with other cats and aren't very territorial. They're more passive and just want to be left alone. They're not very protective though, so you probably won't see this type of cat running out to guard your child against some stray dog or other cat. Would you pay out thousands of dollars to own one of these cats? Why or why not? Sphinx Cats These are regarded as one of the ugliest cats in the world by some people because they have no hair. The Sphinx breed of cat is a completely hairless cat and its body's wrinkled. Some people prefer to have a nice coat of fur to stroke on their cat, and when you try to pet a Sphinx, it just feels rather awkward and it feels like you're petting sandpaper sometimes. However, they're still very popular for a lot of people. These cats were born and bred in Canada. They weren't discovered until around 1966 according to the CFA. People report that they have no hair due to mother nature and it's a genetic mutation which can occur once every 15 years. When they were discovered, people started breeding them with short-haired cats so that they would be born with hair, but after it was discovered that some people actually prefer them hairless, they started breeding completely hairless cats together again. Why do some people prefer hairless? Well, it's just a personal preference and we're not really sure. However, if you own one of these cats and live in an area that gets hot or cold, 
you have to keep them protected from the elements or they can die. Scottish Fold Cats These are one of the most playful breed of cats out there. They're very charming, they're cute, they're easy to train, and they're very sweet-natured. You should be warned though, if you want to own a Scottish Fold Cat, you have to have a lot of things for the cat to do because they have a lot of energy. They are extremely playful and if they get bored with their toys and you aren't providing enough attention, they'll find something on their own to do and we can't promise that you'll like whatever it is they find to get into. Scottish Folds do have one particular problem that isn't necessarily a bad thing but it's rather interesting behavior. When the Scottish Fold blends in with a family, they'll pick one family member out of everyone and they'll become attached to that family member. No one knows why they do this. They have a rather interesting variety of purring sounds too and they can make different sounds based on how they're feeling. They are great for a family, but if the cat doesn't pick you, don't expect to see it too often. Would you own a Scottish Fold Cat? Are they the cutest breed of cat? American Shorthair You've probably seen a lot of these over the span of your lifetime because they're one of the most popular breed of cat to have in a household. This is also known as America's Breed, hence the name the American Shorthair Cat. However, despite the name, these cats were actually brought over by European settlers, or at least that's what historians think. They're pretty balanced in terms of the way cats present themselves, and they're not aggressive, and their temperament is usually pretty balanced. They're not too nice and cuddly, but they're not aggressive at the same time. They're not the smartest breed of cat you can own, but they're generally pretty intelligent, and it really just depends on the family it comes from as far as its intelligence goes. It has a rather good disposition as well. The short hair also has a rather interesting ability to get along with other pets, and it's very good with children as well. It's very friendly to other family members, and most people shouldn't have any problems with this breed of cat as a pet. Maine Coon Cats Another popular type of cat is the Maine Coon breed. This is because this breed is actually one of the oldest breeds in North America. Their size is relatively large, and they're a very playful breed. So you need to have a lot of energy if you plan on raising this cat without another cat for it to play with. Also, they're known for their intelligence, and they're far more intelligent than a lot of other cats on this list. Their coats are relatively shaggy, and they're known to give off a rather rugged appearance. In general, they usually won't bother other pets, and they're not very dominant when it comes to their territory, so you don't have to worry about that with other pets. They also sometimes like to act like dogs and are a bit affectionate, so they're great for cuddling or having a nice cat to pet every once in a while. Persian Cat Persian cats are unmistakable. When you see one, you will know it's a Persian cat. They're hard to mistake because they also have very round faces and they're very fluffy. Their fur tends to stick out compared to other cats and they're very easy to get along with. They're very quiet and even their meow is quiet, but they don't make a lot of noises unless they're hungry. They're some of the most docile cats in the world. They're very laid back, which makes them a great family pet cat. Persian cats have been around for the longest, at least more than some of the other breeds mentioned in this list, and they're a very popular breed of cat. It's not clear where these cats come from, but if we go by their name, then they obviously came from Persia. And some of their history goes back all the way to 1684 BC, thanks to some hieroglyphics that describe these cats as loyal companions. British Shorthair Cat These cats date back all the way to the Roman Empire. These cats have very distinct eyes, and their fur is usually pretty thick. Their eyes always stand out above their fur though, which makes them incredibly easy to identify. When they first arrived in England, it's believed that they were bred with another breed in England, which altered their appearance significantly. Then, it's believed that they were crossbred with Persian cats, and this act changed their look significantly as well. This made it so that the British Shorthair had significantly more fur, they were fluffier, and their eyes started to stand out more. It's one of the most popular cat breeds in the world for their distinct looks and their intelligence. If you know someone who has a cat that likes to go outside and hunt, it's more than likely a British Shorthair cat because they are very adept hunters. This dates back all the way to the Roman Empire, and it's believed that this is why they were bred in the first place, but no one really knows for sure. Ragdoll Cat These are very popular pets, and for really good reason. If you're looking for a family-friendly pet and you're looking for a cat that's good with the entire family, then look no further than the Ragdoll lineup of cats. 
These cats are incredibly friendly and they are incredibly fluffy. Their general demeanor is nice, but they always look like they're in a bad mood if you take a look at their face. Don't let the face fool you though, because these cats are always up for a nice cuddle session. They're some of the easiest going cats on the planet. When these cats are picked up, they tend to go limp and they start to relax in someone's arms. They actually enjoy the company of humans, unlike a lot of other cat breeds, and they enjoy being pet as well. This is where they get the name Ragdoll, because they tend to collapse like one as well. They actually look for human companionship, unlike a lot of other cats, and they're very protective of their owner if you treat them right. They're very protective of children as well. What do you think the best breed of cats is? Do you have a cat? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.